Oh hey guys, this is Alex. Oh hey guys, this is Alex. Uh, I'm gonna do a follow-up uh, to, follow to my video on video on this Magnum, this Magnum high security high security uh, lock <coughs> lock. Um, um, throughout the video, I'll have some photographs that will come up because it's really hard to get this stuff on live video. Um, but uh, basically, throughout the video, I'll have some is photographs. A seven up, it's really hard pin to get this tumbler. Live video. Uh, dimple lock. Um, so but, key right there. Uh, basically, um, with the um, pin chambers staggered back and forth um, by about four or five millimeters on center, um, <coughs> we have is which means the pins come in like pin back, tumbler, right? Which is why I was uh, working from both sides of the keyway, the key right and there. I was picking it. Um, and then in addition to these the, seven pin tumblers, some of which have spools, um, although the, the uh, key pins are normal, um, at least in this lock, there are four sliders that are actuated by this squiggly, um, what they might call a laser track. So you have this squiggly track. You see these in car keys, you see them in uh, like the EVA 3KS, they're pretty popular. Um, and the way they work is they actuate these little sliders. So each of these little pins here, if I can get one out, each of them has a little, um, little nub that sticks out into the keyway. So you can see that. Okay. There's this little nub. So the, and that and nub engages, engages the with track. the track like that and um, as depending on the position of the track it moves back and forth laterally across the key and you'll see there's a gate in the um, in the slider and then um, unsurprisingly there is a sidebar and the sidebar goes in the bottom of the, the lock so it's kind of a bottom bar and you can see that in the Without the key inside there, that sticks out, and there's a corresponding groove in the um, in the shell. And when I place the key in, now the sidebar can retract under rotation, and uh, can uh, the cylinder, the uh, the lock can open. I think I got this around the wrong way. Something like that. Yeah, it's sided. It looks like. Um, in addition to all of this stuff, we have a drill pin here. We have a drill pin on the other side. Um, the um, shell itself has drill protection here. Okay, and that I found puzzling. Let's see if I can make sure that that's in focus. Claims to be. So this drill pin I found puzzling when I was working on the lock with it before I'd taken it apart because, I mean, you do have the Bible there, but that's pretty high up, um, you know, to, and normally you'd have like steel um, drivers or steel and uh, various other things in there. Um, the reason for this is that this lock has kind of an interesting construction. So you may have noticed when I took it apart that I removed this screw here, so the screw goes in there, and that holds um, each side, each of the two cylinders onto this pin here, uh, which is steel. Um, yeah, you can feel the drill pin is steel. Um, problem. But it was interesting when I took it apart last night. Um, I. I saw this ball bearing fall out. I didn't really know what it was there for. And then when I was going to figure out how to put it back together, I noticed that it goes right in there. And so the purpose of the ball bearing is to prevent you, and the ball bearing and this drill pin here is to prevent you from drilling out this pin and then being able to pull the uh, cylinder right out. Um, so pretty clever design. Um, I don't know how much, uh, um, you know, twisting or whatever that attack is called, um, 
resistance this is going to provide. I noticed the, the lock that Bill had on his video yesterday uh, had like, uh, you know, perforations on, this, on his cylinder, but his was a little longer. So um, they may have added that. This was made in 2009, according to the box. Um, but I thought that was pretty nice, uh, pretty nice feature. The screws are steel. And then, of course, you have the cam and stuff in the middle, and that's a standard, you know, one of these kind of things with the slidey spinning bits. Okay. Um, this may be susceptible to um, direct manipulation. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that yet. Um, kind of interesting that it, that might be a box. It says um, telescopic pin tumbler system, and I mean these pin tumblers. The, the, uh, I don't know what they mean by telescopic. Um, this is one of the key pins and it's just a solid piece of brass. It doesn't telescope or anything. The only thing that's remarkable about it is it has a little milling that keeps it from falling all the way down into the keyway um, to leave clearance for the sliders, but that's it. Um, so I don't know what that's all about. Um, and then the other surprising thing, you got all this English over here, Hebrew here and China. So it appears to be made in China. You know, the, it's pretty floppy in there. Um, but it, let's say it was a hard lock to pick. So um, a pretty good work for Chinese lock. Um, anyhow, um, I think that's all the interesting bits. Um, you'll have some shots of the key pins and various other things as I go along when I edit this. Uh, but there they are right there. Um, and uh, I did not remove all the drivers because the springs are just minuscule. They're like, uh, I don't know, they're like a quarter of an inch long. Um, get my metric ruler out for you. Yeah, they're, they're like seven millimeters long, six or seven millimeters long. And they're steel, they stick to everything. And I, I just don't have an hour to put the freaking uh, lock back together. So, um, but based on picking it, there's some spools, there's some normal pins, and I didn't feel anything serrated. So um, there might be a mushroom or two, but you know, it's hard to tell. So anyway, um, these locks are kind of hard to find, but I have seen a number of them on eBay. Um, and if you search eBay Europe, um, like uh, either Britain or uh, Germany, if you can make your way through uh, with Google Translator, um, you can sometimes find these. So. Um, and they're not too expensive. Um, and then lastly, uh, if you look at the box, um, it looks like they have another really cool looking lock, and I haven't been able to find that. I somehow thought maybe it came with all three, but it, w it wasn't clear from the ad, but you know, that seemed kind of unreasonable, but I'd like to try that one. Um, that looks fun. So, okay. As far as picking it, what I was using were, were um, a couple of these Goso um, dimple picks that I spent some time filing and sanding um, and I was coming in from both sides of the keyway so I had a left and a right sitting there um, and uh, being somewhat dyslexic uh, that was exciting um, so I think I had a left and a right um, and then um, at some point I did use one of those green Goso um, uh, picks that has a curved blade on it uh, or curved tip, and I can't find it. I was rearranged my desk. Oh, here it is. One of these curved looking things, All right? That also was sanded and filed a little bit. Um, and that let me get some of the deeper set pins and kind of get around some of this zigzag stuff um, to some extent. So these are, this actually is a decent pick. Um, and then for the bottom, for the uh, sliders, I was using a, um, uh, what's it called, a double hump or a double, uh, whatever that's called, one of these type of things. Um, as well as when you're in there, you can sometimes manipulate them with the tip of your dimple pick. So, um, anyhow, there you go. Um, do you have any questions or other tips on uh, opening this lock? Let me know. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching um, and I uh, hope you enjoy this and have fun and please keep it legal. Thanks so much.